All right, Jill, thank you so much. A Scott County boy has made it to the finale of a new Nickelodeon TV show called Top Elf. LEX 18's Kristen Edwards tells us how he landed in the spotlight and what talents he has that could take him all the way. Sit. Spin. Good doggy. 12 year old Cameron Fulton has been given the opportunity oh, of yeah. a lifetime. Let's go. The Georgetown native was cast in a Nickelodeon TV show where he's competing against seven kids for the title of Top Elf. It was pretty scary at first, but <laughs> I got used to it bit by bit. Cameron was discovered when a casting agency came across his Instagram profile where he shows off his woodworking skills. A lot of people are like, I want to be a surgeon because they make a lot of money. I'm like, I want to be a woodworker because it's fun. And he says those skills have landed him on the nice list when he had to build things like a giant Christmas card or gingerbread house. But we'll have to wait until tonight's grand finale episode to see how he does building Santa's sleigh. The good thing is these are prototypes. They don't actually have to fly but they're just kind of like design models of what we would design if we were going to change Santa Slay. Even though there have only been four episodes, Cameron's parents say kids around town have taken note. When we went to the Scott County basketball game last week, he was recognized a lot, and that was a, that was a, a weird experience for mm -hmm. us. <laughs> they're like, you're the Nickelodeon kid. It was really neat. The competition is down to three kids, including Cameron. And tonight, a winner will be crowned as the first ever top elf. In Scott County, Kristen Edwards, LEX 18 News.